hello friends i'm back with the uh, the answers for anatomy quiz so right now uh, my video of anatomy quiz was seen by 46 viewers and four of them liked it but only one answered the uh, one answered it in comments what i wanted is i would like that at least I would get 4 to 5 answers among 44 members who have viewed it at least 4 to 5 answers I thought I would get but it's okay it's a good beginning that at least one answered so I would see for a few for a few days if this channel had a good response will would have a good response then I would continue it or else if it don't have a good response that I would quit this channel so I request all you all to just utilize this opportunity and and just answer something so that even you can learn from your mistakes so basically most of these questions as I have kept all the five questions uh, they deal with nothing but the brachial plexus so I would just wanted to teach brachial plexus that to a brief through I'm not going to draw all the diagram as I will always draw but with the figure I just wanted to explain you brachial plexus before I answer this question so that you would understand it in a better way so this is a diagram which I got it from the net I hope you all are able to see it right I think you all are able to see it so you can see that the brachial plexus consists of roots trunks divisions cords and these are branches right so the brachial plexus basically it has c5 c6 c7 c8 and t1 c6 and c7 so c5 and c6 both of them combine to form the upper trunk c7 forms the middle trunk whereas c8 and t1 form the lower trunk right from the c8 root we get dorsal scapular nerve from the trunk we have suprascapular nerve and subclavius nerve right from the trunk of upper from the upper trunk we have two one is suprascapular nerve and the other is subclavius nerve so c7 we get c7 continues as middle trunk whereas c8 and t1 continues as lower trunk so from c5 c6 c7 c8 c7 roots we get long thoracic nerve right so the trunks are divided into divisions that is upper division anterior division or posterior division all the posterior divisions combine to form the posterior cord you can see this is posterior divisions of all combine to form the posterior cord whereas the anterior divisions of upper and middle combine to form a lateral cord whereas the posterior anterior division of lower trunk continue to form medial cord all right the median parts of lateral and medial cord combine to form the median nerve so in the lateral cord you can i mean it forms or it gives branches to lateral pectoral nerve musculocutaneous nerve and median nerve and for the posterior cord the mnemonic is ultra us upper subscapular nerve L is lower subscapular nerve, T is thoracodorsal nerve, R is radial nerve, A is axillary nerve, which are derived from posterior cord. Whereas from the median cord, we get ulnar nerve, uh, medial cutaneous nerve uh, of forearm, medial cutaneous nerve of arm, and even medial pectoral nerve. So median, medial cord mostly cont contains of all M's, that is medial cutaneous nerve of arm, medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and medial pectoral nerve along with ulnar nerve so all these are the branches cords um, trunks roots about brachial i mean completely about brachial plexus so based on this let us answer these questions if you have got this this is far and good if you didn't get about the brachial plexus just may just give a comment so that i'll explain it in detail again and basically i'm going to explain it in my upper limb section which i am uploading every day uh, or else i'll upload i'll uh, 
uh, answer it again in a better way so what are the answers which of the following is a branch from the trunk of brachial plexus so you have seen it has two branches one is suprascapular nerve and the other is nerve to subclavius right and the second one all are true right about brachial plexus except the lower trunk is formed by root c8 and c1 that's true as you have seen here as you see here it is formed by c8 and t1 forms the lower trunk right next the second one is lateral cord is formed by upper and middle trunk right see you can see this is the lateral cord and this is formed by upper trunk and the middle trunk even this is true right the third one is c c the option c is posterior cord is formed by posterior divisions of all the three trunk trunks you can even see this so this posterior cord it is mainly formed by all the three divisions upper trunk middle trunk and posterior trunk that to posterior divisions of all these three trunks and c4 is post fixed to plexus no right so c4 is always prefixed it is not post fixed right so the d is the wrong answer in two fine next all the other branches of posterior cord of brachial plexus except i have already said you a small mnemonic of posterior cord of brachial plexus what is it it's ultra right for ultra it is sorry it's not ultra sorry yeah it is ultra yes fine so i'll just show you the posterior cord the posterior cord is this one and it is ultra upper subscapular nerve thoracodorsal nerve lower subscapular nerve axillary nerve and radial nerve right ultra so what does uh, the what are the branches so as i have said axillary nerve thoracodorsal nerve radial nerve all these are correct it's not long thoracic nerve did you, did you remember from where long thoracic nerve came